make sure your house has the best living conditions, it has to be built on the perfect piece of land. So how do you choose a suitable site to build your house? Every site essentially constitutes of these three, land, water and air. Let's look at land. What we see is a surface, but the secret of this lies under the skin, which can be divided majorly into three sections, topsoil, subsoil and the bedrock. Topsoil is rich in the organic matter and assess any plantations later on. Your section of land primarily defines the cost of construction of your house. Like for example, many people are driven to the hills. Granted, the views can be spectacular, but roads, utilities, water, sewer and foundations such as pilings can add to 25-30% to 30 to the building costs alone. Always remember the thumb rule. That while going vertical, an 8 degree slope or 1 foot in every 10 feet is about the limit when considering building economically on hillsides. Soil also helps us understand the extent of plantation, water level and water seepage. Water is essential for life and hence the groundwater becomes prime importance while selecting a site. India is the largest user of groundwater in the world. Hence, it is important to know that the groundwater under your site is not contaminated. Understanding the quality of air is again an important factor, which later defined the openings of the house for ventilation. Clean air means no air pollution, no noise, and also away from dust. It is an important factor, especially in hilly regions, where air on the windward side is much more moist. So what is the checklist while selecting your site? First, Know your location. Connectivity to the public transport, bus, metro, local trains. What is the proximity of your site to neighborhood retailing, schools and primary health facilities? Next, understand your plot size, which should be optimum to your family space requirements. After leaving setbacks, will it be sufficient for gardening, vehicle parking, fresh water sump and drying clothes? Focus on infrastructure and amenities. Does the plot have metal roads? Have a checklist of civic amenities like drinking water, electricity, underground drainage, internet facilities, pipe gas connection and security. It is important to verify if your house has sanctioned layout, which comes handy if you are applying for house loans. While building your house later, space utilization becomes a prime focus by your architect, and a right shape will enhance such efforts. Let us look at some shapes and broadly understand the logical way of how each one affects your house. Square. This helps the architect utilize the space well, as most of the rooms can be square or rectangle, avoiding wastage. In smaller plots, the only disadvantage being to avoid rectangular spaces used for halls. Rectangle. This is considered optimum for best space utilization as there will be space left for one or two sites to explore more utility like garden or an extra room. Circle. Very rare. But a circle makes it difficult to make the entire perimeter usable. Quadrilateral. It is best especially when plot widens at the back, making it best while designing a good backyard. Triangle. Narrowing part of a triangle makes it difficult to accommodate rooms and hence it is the least preferred site. Plots come in various shapes and sizes. Each one has its own advantage and disadvantage. Like a triangular site with a beautiful lake view on one side, and a road on the other side can be a great for ventilation and balconies to vistas. And this might come at a better price, especially in places like India, where people do not prefer such plots due to Vastu. Likewise, a corner plot means less visibility, but can be the best option for people who prefer privacy and less traffic. The plot is most preferred if its width accommodates minimum of two rooms and a staircase after leaving the setbacks. As a thumb rule, the length to breadth of your plot is good if it falls in the ratio of 1 ish to 1.618, which is often called the golden proportion universally. Once you're done with the site selection, it's around the right time to meet an architect who will help you with the rest of the construction process. For more such videos, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and of course you can visit us at archimedes.blogspot.com or archimedes.gmail.com.